All right, warning, not safe for work. I guarantee you I'm not getting through this without some colorful expletives. <laughs> and some, uh, yeah, I can't help but swear at these people. It's unbelievable. Mainstream media theater. So let's just get started here. So She's so cute, though. Isn't she just cute? She's so pretty. Uh, let's see here. So did Rick Santorum actually beat Mitt Romney in the Iowa caucuses? Now, the Iowa Republican Party is going to announce tomorrow morning the official certified winner. Now, John Avalon has been reporting that Mitt Romney's razor-thin victory over Santorum may not be a win. Now, John, oh, I look at him. He's cute, man, too. Frank, 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 Frank. Come on, why are you saying I'm obsessed? You are, and in a good way. Day after Iowa, you said, I think this isn't going to be this simple. So uh, it's, it's, tell me what you mean. What have you found on this? Sure. So th this is what's going on. Everyone remembers the eight vote. Here's what's Romney going on. Tell us what's going on, John. Directly to this inevitability narrative that Mitt Romney's the only candidate to win both Iowa and New Hampshire. Well, not so fast. You're Tomorrow's right. Not so fast. Comes in, but here's what we know for sure so far. Yeah. In a county in Appanoose County, Iowa. Appanoose County. Appanoose County. Okay. Southeastern hmm. corner of Iowa. We're going to focus on this little county. True, attended that caucus, and he found that Mitt Romney was given. 20 more votes than he actually received. Oh, we're going to focus on these 20 votes. There you go. We've we've solved the mystery. We're voting. We're, we're reporting on vote fraud here. Contains no news to the rescue. Right? Ron Paul gets 50 fucking percent of the vote. They steal it and make it into an improbable three-way tie with Santorum. Please. And uh, they are going to focus on this one little county. All right? And then they're going to give you the... the uh, I mean, just listen to what these fuckers say. You might as well be watching two little kitties, right? You guys like to... I, I'm not... I'm a dog guy. I like dogs. So, I mean, the, the kitty videos, I don't get it. But, uh, you know, okay, fine. Cats are cute. You might as well be watching kitties bat the ball back and forth between them being cute because this is what you are basically watching on Contains No News with these two fuckers right here, right? These two talking heads that are, you know... Filling your living room with garbage and making you making many of my fellow Americans think that they're getting the fucking news. Precinct, and he, he, but he was tallied with 20 in the official GOP total. Now, initially, there were all sorts of attempts to deny and dismiss and say, don't worry about it. But now nobody's back dismissing that fact. So if that number alone holds, that would Look, be we're not dismissing these in. facts. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> this just this I, one. I just have to take a pause again to remind everyone. Oh, look at the cute girl. We're talking about... Eight, twelve people. It's we're amazing. talking about twelve votes. We're just talking about twelve votes. Look at this. We're we're bringing attention to these twelve votes. Who is this girl again? Hmm. Aaron Burnett seems seems familiar to me. Aaron, Aaron. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I remember Aaron Burnett. She's the one that went down to Occupy Wall Street and told everybody that we made money on the bailouts. That's her. And she's actually literally. Fucking a guy from Goldman Sachs, right? Her boyfriend or fiance or whatever you want to call it. And I can't. Let's see here. Oh, you could read over this if you want to. Slow it down, right? I'm just gonna scroll through because I don't see it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, she needs to get her facts straight. That's for damn sure. Um. Yeah, like this here. Like getting her ass handed to her on camera by Congressman Brad Sherman on the bail on. Uh, AIG bonuses and so forth. I mean, she goes on air and lies and lies and lies, and yet she stays, they keep her on the air. Right? I mean, it's unbelievable. Uh, so, yeah, so when someone like, or Aaron Burnett starts lying to you, lying to your face about how much money they made us on their bank giveaways, tell them that he's about a two trillion short. And that we can talk about the interest they owe us a little bit later. Anyway, un freaking believable this woman. Anyway, so now she's over here, right? There's your there's your cred there's her cred factor right here for you, right? <laughs> Just lie after lie. Um and this is Daily Bell right here, right? The Daily Bell. Um So now oh wait, 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 and here's this one. Uh, confirmed. There's another video one. Just look up, you know, there's a title for you, right? Voter fraud found in eight precincts in Iowa. And this was on the 19th, right? Like I said, people are starting to finally make noise, right? Um, and they talk about, you know, there there's so many comments flying on this one now that I can't even keep up, but there's a great ones where, you know, people that were there counting votes are like, 
Yeah, in my precinct, got 35%. The precinct, I know the guy that was counting the precinct next to me, he got 35%. And another one, he got 50% of the vote. And another one, he got 40% of the vote. So how he came up with 20% of the vote, we don't know. And these were, like, not the little, you know, little far-flung uh, precincts where there was 20 votes or 22 votes. I mean, we're talking about, you know, hundreds and, and in some cases, even, you know, thousands of votes that they were talking about. And they don't understand how it could be that Ron Paul came in third. But over here, let's get back to Aaron and the other cute little kitty talking about what's going on here. Okay. The United States of America. Yeah. In the United counts. States of America. Yes. Look at that little leg action going on over there. Oh, she's so cute. Yeah, he's got a nice haircut. He's better looking than I am, that's for damn sure. That's why pretty people are on TV. We know about this one county. We're not going to focus on these other eight precincts. No, I'm going to bring in Edward True in a moment, who's with us exclusively. Um, but I wanted to ask you one follow-up on this. So I get intellectually there's a difference between being the winner and not being the winner. Delegate she count wise, that. it wouldn't change it. Ron Paul came in third and got seven. Santorum got seven. Wait a minute. Romney got seven. Did she just so mentioned Ron Paul. So this vote win, if it happened for Santorum, wouldn't change the delegate count, but it changes the headline. That's so right. how much? See, it does wouldn't that change anything. The vote fraud wouldn't really change belt. anything. It matters a lot. The mm -hmm. truth matters. You know, part the, the truth matters. Money you fucking little bitch! I can't believe you say that shit out loud on TV. Right? The truth matters. You lie. I don't. Uh. Anyway, and then and then my mouth gets foul from there, right? The truth is, this guy right here got about fifty percent of the vote, and they stole his votes and split them up between these two guys. That's the truth, right? And now they're trying to make it sound like, hey, we're covering the vote fraud story in, in Iowa. No, they're talking about inconsequential bullshit between Romney and Santorum, and not covering the main thing which is the fact that Ron Paul got robbed in, in Iowa, right? And trying to make it sound like, hey, Contains No News is on it. We've got the story That's for you. Media attention. And the headlines and the magazine covers would have been entirely different if Rick yeah. Santorum had gotten an eight-vote win instead of Mitt Romney. And imagine if it was Ron Paul that got a, you know, 50% vote and won by a landslide. What would the magazine covers and newspapers say then, right? What would America think then? Holy crap, this guy's got some serious momentum going on, right? No. So they make it... Statistically, it's it's improbable that it would be a three-way tie. Just just coming from the mathematics side, right? I mean, and then it's even more improbable that a guy that had no ground game in Iowa, admittedly, and there were plenty of stories before this, he had nothing going on in Iowa. His you know offices were empty. And I should get those videos up, right? And then all the shots of the show are nice close close-up shots. Look, there's he's really gaining momentum, and there's like you know there's a hundred people there, right? Ron Paul has a thousand people in his meetings and more. Right, standing room only. Rick Santorum can't even fill a freaking room, and he comes in second, right, ahead of Ron Paul. And if you believe that, then you know, enjoy your news here on Uncontains No News. And you're right; you're so much better informed than the guys who watch Fox News, right? <laughs> Fox, and that would be F A U X uh, N O O Z. Believe me, I'm no fan of Fox News. Or any of these mainstream bullshit media, right? They don't call it CBS for nothing because it's BS, top yeah. to so bottom. This matters enormously. The it truth does matters. matter. The, the matters. truth right. matters. Uh, you fuckwad. Unbelievable. Here's a good old boy. You went to the caucuses. I know you were actually a Ron Paul supporter. You were tallying. You went online that night, posted uh, the results. When did you realize there was a problem that the tally that you had walked out of there with did not match the tally that was formally reported? Um, I first found it. It would have been uh, the afternoon after the caucus. I, I started checking things and I seen the uh, numbers reported by the county and then went on to, to check it by the precinct. I love and, uh, that. When I seen it, the I, guy's I name had to, to, is Edward to do a True. Take on it because it, it, Truth is always stranger than fiction. Self, and then after seeing Good on again, you, Edward. I, I noticed, hey, there's something wrong here. Hey, and, there and is something you wrong here. The precinct chairman and you kept calling, right? You've been I, going all the way to uh, the top. The, well, we're going to focus on this one guy the and this one precinct. The chairman was the, was the first person I spoke with. Um, he confirmed my numbers as well with me over the phone. But we're not um, going to tell you about him, the rest of it. I spoke to the county chairperson. He, he confirmed Oof. my numbers as well. And then I also uh, contacted the Iowa GOP, but it, it took them more than 24 hours to respond to me. 
Did Santorum really win in Iowa? <laughs> the, the, the frustration, shall I say, that we all feel that we don't I would love to know see, that uh, this can still happen, that there could be these sorts of discrepancies. Was it bad lip syncing? Do a vid video on these guys. Mm -hmm. think Look at her. She's so sincere. And she's so cute. Early on that oh. Actually, that may not be the case, that there's one document case where the votes are dramatically off and, 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 and the person is dismissed. Said that you could, you're not allowed to, you know, Edward True was told he's not, he's, he's not a precinct captain. How about the he's other eight precincts? The votes. Here's the big picture. In our age of social media, big an organization can't deny accountability and transparency. They will be imposed upon them, even if they don't want it to. Tomorrow will really? be the final vote. Well, let's Maybe see if we can impose some GOP fucking transparency on these the bitches. But this is a big deal that after all the attention and focus <laughs> on here, that we know that <laughs> it is. It's a big damn deal. Twenty votes less than was vote fraud. All right, John Avalon, thank you very much, and thank you very much, Edward True. Appreciate your taking the time. Edward True, awesome. Anyway, Erin is so she is so she's so cute, but she's one of them. Uh, anyway, so confirm vote fraud in eight precincts, right? And then, like I said, there were comments here. There's comments on my videos, people that were in Iowa, right? First-hand people. <sighs> anyway, vote fraud. It's the real deal, guys. Let's see here. Ah, uh, wrong picture. I love her. I don't know who she is, but I love her. Um, there's, I mean, she looks like one of those French paintings where... Anyway. Um, uh, let's see here. In your opinion, who won Thursday night's GOP presidential vote? Look at that. 68% of them, right, when I took this screenshot, and it's probably more now. And this one doesn't have how many people were voting. Or I didn't capture it. But anyway, or it was, I think this one was like 50,000 people. But anyway, Ron Paul, 68%, right? And I mean, this is how it is consistently. This is how it was last time, too, folks, in 19, uh, or excuse me, in... 2008. Look, oh, Mitt Romney, 9%. Oh, look, Ron Paul, 82%. And that's 54,000 people in that one. Can you see that down here? 54,000 people. Um, and they're all Ron Paul supporters, right? They just hacked this. Four guys in the room that hacked this vote count, right? We're, and un people always say, well, it's rigged for Ron Paul because his supporters are really enthusiastic and they'll, you know, go spam all the... All so really, it's, it's 2012 and Mitt Romney doesn't have computer illiterate supporters that can go and, you know, vote for him in online polls. Rick Perry, it's amazing he, 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 that he got anything and being that he dropped out. Rick Santorum, 1%. That's where Rick Santorum is, is about 1%. He's, you know, 1% one to, one to 5%, and somehow he pulled out Iowa. And somehow he's doing well in New Hampshire, and supposedly he's going to be doing well tomorrow in South Carolina. Really? Right? And then and, and Newt. <laughs> Look at Newt down there with 4%. Right? But tomorrow he's going to do fantastic because they're going to split Ron Paul's votes up and they're going to divide them up between this guy and this guy and this guy. Right? Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm saying. And here's just for fun. I'll get off the topic for just a second. Right? Guess who? Look, it's the Shah of Iran. Look, they, whatever you, they want you to think is what you think. Right? <laughs> it's as simple as that. Right. The Shah of Iran is building the... Okay, anyway, so, out of here, out of here. But look at that, right? That's how it always is. That's how it was in Iowa. That's how it was, you know, it's how it's going to be in Florida. But, you know, the story's going to be... No, really, I, I love her. The story's going to be... Um, oops, that's what I'm using to make this. The story's going to be, you know, how... They're going to try and say that we covered the vote fraud, even though they didn't cover the vote fraud, even though all they do is give you bullshit, right? Like I said, just, just go back to watching the kitties bat the ball back and forth, because it's the same damn thing. That's how much media you're getting. Or that's, you know, because they, all they do, they, they just make up stories, right? Here's some news stories for you. They're not giving you news. It should be absolutely clear. The only people that are going to expose this fraud is us. So tomorrow, we need to have more people out there being ready for them to explain because <laughs> it's going to be the case that they're going to try and rip off Ron Paul again. They'll do it in Florida, then they'll keep doing it. We're down to four, right? It's a war of attrition now, and Ron Paul supporters just got to expose the fraud, and we've got to make enough noise that these guys have to take a second look at Iowa, right? Because it's bullshit, guys. I mean, I call bullshit now, yesterday, and tomorrow. 
All right.